This game is rated M for Mature. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everyone, Gucci for the win here. Welcome back to Resident Evil 7. Quite possibly, for realsies this time, the last episode. I would imagine. Oh, that means Lucas is nearby, doesn't it? Great. Great. I'm just... I'm so happy that we might have to worry about Lucas again. He was my favorite. Favorite all time. Resident Evil character, for sure. Oh, look, it's fine. Oh, more machine gun ammo. Cool. Alright. Um, I don't think there's any way for us to get back there. No, there's not. Okay. So we go through the door, I suppose. I'm going to have the shotgun ready. So we're good to go for this. Alright, what do we have here? We have herbs. Uh, which I will go ahead and use both of those. Uh, thanks to you guys, it's been about a week since my head's been clear and back to normal, and she still thinks she's got me. You guys really need to work on fixing that. Not only does she look like a little kid, but she's about as stupid as one, too. Mom and Dad are still totally under, though. I was wondering, is this whole family obsession something you guys programmed into her? It's kind of effed up. Uh, Mia is still somewhere in between Evie, La La Land, and reality. She gets pretty violent, so I locked her up in a cell. I thought maybe... Evelyn would get mad since Mia's her favorite and all. She doesn't seem to care. She actually goes and visits her sometimes. She thinks Mia's her mommy. Like I said, your bio weapon is effed up. Evelyn's family obsession is getting out of hand. She's making everyone kidnap more and more a holes off the street to add to her freak show of a family. Maybe she's getting tired of Mia not coming around, but it's a pain in the butt for me because I gotta clean up the mess whenever someone new comes along. By the way, Evie's looking sick or something. Her skin is getting all wrinkly and she's getting gray hairs. Is that supposed to happen? It's almost like she's getting old all of a sudden. So wait. What? What? Hold on a second. That's... This sounds like it's... Written by Lucas. Am I right? Uh, this report details the symptoms that appear when the bacterium that grows inside of the E-Series infects a human. Be sure to read the document thoroughly before dealing with E-Series weaponized assets, hereafter referred to as mold. Initial infection. The mold ingests nutrients from the subject's body to propagate itself. It slowly takes over cells within the body. As a side effect of this, the infected subject gains remarkable regenerative abilities. During experiments, we removed arms and legs from test subjects and found that they were able to cope co the amputated limbs in a matter of minutes. Uh, Mid-stage infection, once the mold reaches the brain, the subject's thoughts become in tune with those of the E-Series asset. The subject starts to hear things and experience hallucinations, and soon comes under complete control of the E-Series asset. If this state continues, the host will lose all sense of ego. Uh, after every cell in the body has been taken over by the mold, the subject begins to lose their human form. Physical mutations differ from case to case, but all result in him or her acquiring incredible physical strength, containing a subject at this stage would be very, uh, extremely difficult. Great. Good to know. Um, so... Uh, dosage test. Five minutes after dose vomiting. Cell calcification. Ten minutes after dose death. Um, that is probably what we have to do, so I'm going to wait on that. Uh, this project was instigated in 2000 as one of several concepts for the company's next, next bass, next generation experimental battlefield superiority initiative, working with technical assistance from HCF to develop a bioweapon for neutralizing combatants in mass with minimal direct contact. Nexbus was later folded and all its assets diverted to this project. What makes this project markedly different from conventional weapons is its ability to turn enemy combatants into allies, converting hostile enemies into willing servants. 
Since this effectively eliminates the cost of not only POW handling but also combat itself, it's no wonder we had the blank and even blanks blank organization chomping at the bit to get on board. Uh, project would never have existed were it not for the discovery in blank of uh, blank the remarkable progressed vicariant evolution fungus that we commonly term the mutum mutamisi. Uh, the fabrication method for each bioweapon has to introduce the mutamisi genome to a pre-stage four human embryo and perform cultivation in a controlled environment over a period of 38 to 40 weeks. The resultant organisms were referred to as candidate specimens and graded based on usability from the impractical and faulty series A through D to the perfected E series. A common appearance was selected for the bioweapons that of a roughly 10 year old girl to ensure ease of blending in with urban refugee populations. First E series specimen named Evelyn has proven capable of secreting the mut mutamisite uh, blank from her tissue at will. It is also of note that Evelyn's mutamisi imposes a profound control over body and mind when introduced to a host organism. We still have a lot to learn about the mechanism by which Evelyn achieves and maintains this control, but the working theory is that the vector is similar to the autoinducer pheromones used for quorum sensing in Pseudomonas bacteria. Evelyn's control is exerted in a series of discrete stages, the first of which is hallucination. Almost immediately after infection, the subject begins to see images of Evelyn, though she is not in fact there, and even hear her voice, which isn't audible to anyone else. Auditions with infected subjects throughout the stages of infection reveal that at first the phantom Evelyn appears to be a normal young girl, sometimes desiring companionship or assistance. As time progresses, she begins making more and more extreme demands, including self-mutilation and attacks on other people. The psychological shock this induces helps to break down the mind's natural barriers to Evelyn's brainwashing effect, and by the time mental control is achieved, the mutamisi infection has progressed throughout the body cells to the body blank. Wow, that was a mouthful and a half. <laughs> no joke. Oh, we got more. Evelyn's functions also include the ability to form organi organisms from uh, mycelia, the fungal filaments. The term organism is used loosely here, strictly speaking. They are super organisms formed of countless mycelia. What's important, though, is that they exhibit a strong survival in instinct and will defend themselves ferociously with the slightest pro uh, provocation. Their fungal toughness and remarkable strength give them significant battlefield potential. The researchers have been calling these super organisms the molded, made of mold and also molded as in shaped. The name has a certain elegance to it. For the treatment of accidental infections, performing blank on samples of uh, Evelyn's body tissue produces a unique fungal, uh, fungicidal serum. Administering the serum to an infected subject will cause the mycelia to calcify, but if the subject's cells are already largely invaded, the serum will be fatal. Since the treatment window is so small, the serum's primary use is therefore disposal of infected subjects rather than a cure. In exploring the serum's potential, we found that subjecting it to blank would enhance its effects to extreme potency, becoming a compound we now call E. necrotoxin, which blank in even tiny amounts. What's been interesting to observe in Evelyn's behavior in her, is her obsession with the concept of family. In experiments, we found on multiple occasions that infected subjects were compelled to act as her mother or father, treating her as if she were really their daughter. Why did she settle upon family as a theme for her mental control? This is just speculation, but it could be that she instinctively understands that a family unit is better suited to blending into social groups than a lone girl. On the other hand, well, a sentimental sort might suggest that she's making up for a perceived lack of love in her quarantine upbringing, a parent's love. Alright, this is a lot of, like, story. Alright. Uh, destroy cells of any subject based on the E-Series weapon model used only for disposal of E-Series assets. The toxin must be first stimulated before use. Do this by placing a sample of an E-Series cells into the necrotoxin container. Alright. Alright, so... We have the good stuff. Oh, cool. Save room. Good. Flame rounds. Oh, joy. Okay, so we can put away some of this crap, like the toy axe, uh, the corrosive. Uh, we could probably keep the remote bombs. 
Um, really, there's no point in us having the flame rounds, honestly. Um, you know what? We're just going to go all in and grab the magnum. Uh, shouldn't need the knife anymore. We'll go ahead and grab the handgun as well. We'll go ahead and make a final save because this is probably the end of the line here. So we'll do this real quick. Um, I have no idea what's coming. This is just... We're going to learn together. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure some of you have probably played through this game before already. Enhanced handgun ammo. Uh, so this door is locked. Yep. Gotta check. I'm pretty sure we're at the end of the road, so there's not really going to be many secrets left to collect or anything. So. Uh, we got remote bombs and chem fluid, though. For whatever that's worth. Um, although we're not really going to be able to use the chem fluid. <laughs> All right, what do we got going on? Magnum ammo, yes, even better. See, exploration pays off. Why'd you stop singing? Um, am I supposed to move it? Oh, oh, oh! Can, can, can we talk about this or something? I'm still confused as to where Lucas might be. Oh, wait. Got him. Uh, where do I need to go? This way. I'm just going to take you out one by one. No more, I see. Alright, hold on. We got regular handgun ammo. We can use here. Making sure there's nothing behind me. <laughs> oh, there's that. Uh, I gotta reload. Hold on, wait, wait, just. There we go. Oh, wait, you're still alive. I'm gonna die. Maybe not. Just the one bullet worked, I guess. Okay, I need to be a little more accurate with this shotgun here. 
Alright, we're gonna switch our ammo back. I do have the Magnum, but I'd rather... I'd rather save it. It's just a light. Yeah, it's just a light. Okay. Just making sure it's not something juicy secret. Um. Oh, that's a big boy. You have to be here. And why you have to be so freaking big? Oh my gosh. Just, excuse me, please. Stop it. You're being quite rude. Like, holy crap. Oh my gosh. Can't escape the vomit. Shotgun shells? Oh, give me those. Thank you. Oh, gotta reload this. Can you can you die? At least, thank you. Okay, we got one. All right, you can just stay there. I'm gonna light you up from back here. Cool? Cool. It's fine with me. Okay, we're reloaded. We're good. We're good to go, man. No problem. No problem. None at all whatsoever, possibly. All right. What else you got? You don't want none of this, Evie. I'm telling you, man. You don't want none of it. I'll get another save station? Mind map. Oh, that's helpful. Let me, let me save it again. I just, I want to be sure. Alright, so the map. Um... Uh, can't be right. No, I doubt that's right. Ah, we've come full circle. Are we in the house again, I guess? E001. Is that right? Was I. Wait a minute. Is that right? Is that right? Hold the phone. Hold that. Nothing. Nothing. 
Oh, hey. What's up, Evie? Don't mind me. Just, uh... Just here. You know? This is your boat. Um... What what exactly is my fault? Anything? We probably can't. There's probably nothing else to get. Ethan, it's okay. It's okay. It's me. I know you didn't mean to hurt me. Kill him, mommy. But you shouldn't have done that. Like, legitimately, or... <laughs> All right. Wait, is this... Is this, is this real? I just wasted ammo for nothing? Uh... Uh... What? Now what? Where do I go? Uh, I guess I go back up the stairs is, is that right do I do I go up here seems like it <laughs> all right Come here, Evie. Get away. But, uh... Oh, what? Why am I dead? Explain. Video game. I suppose we'll return when we respawn. All right, we're back here. Get away. But I need I need through here. No, no. But watch me. No. No, no, no. Wow. 
Well. Uh. Oh. What in the world? Oh, hello. Ow. Um. Um. Is she just gonna beat the crap out of me? Uh, she's tearing my leg apart. Can, uh, like, one of the helicopters do something? Well, you, you did a bad job at it. I'm surprised I have I don't have more broken bones. Oh, what is that? All right, Albert O one. Oh. I wonder who that's in reference to. Are you dead? Can I shoot her with it? Just to make sure. I still would like to make sure if that's possible. So did we do it? The nightmare's finally over. Who all is here? Uh, I'm Redfield. Glad we found you. Is that Chris? Is that Chris Redfield? The Chris Redfield. <gasps> Mia! Mia. You made it. I'm glad. Did I? Did she? They say that when one door closes, another opens. Well, a door closed tonight. And what a long night it was. But not just for me. Me and I weren't the only victims here. So were the Bakers. It was that thing, Evelyn, who made them that way. Um... Now Evelyn's dead. And these guys are here to clean up the mess. I had just come to terms with losing you. Um. But now she's back and wants to start over. Put all this behind us. They 
Maybe this is where the next door opens. Um. Well, is uh, is there anything else? So we're getting a nice little credit sequence, it seems. Um, I'm going to watch this out, record it out. If there happens to be anything post-credits, uh, I'll be back. But if not, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching all the way through if you did. If you didn't, go back and check out some of the uh, older episodes so you don't miss any of that stuff you get the full the full experience of the story um it's been super fun to play it glad i finally got to play it all the way through um yeah super fun can't wait for um whatever's next pokemon's coming very soon can't wait for that so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss sword and shield um and thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video peace out Let's <laughs> go.